But let's look at irreversible paths now. Let's see, section uh, three, we're in. Okay, the molecular interpretation of entropy is here, number three. That's, uh, that's what I did already. And we've just talked about the efficiency of uh, Carnot cycle, Carnot's theorem, and uh, the thermodynamic temperature scale, Kelvin, and the concept of entropy. So, but in these irreversible processes, we have here a figure, and in one case, and you look at this figure, you have a metal rod. So this, that's what I did before, if you remember. I just said, we take two reservoirs, you put a metal rod between it, and just heat flows. And that is spontaneous, right? This is a spontaneous process. Heat will go from a hotter to a colder. It's a spontaneous process. It's an irreversible process, too. But let's imagine a process here, which we can just do to visualize what's going on. This doesn't happen in practice. You can never happen, this happen in practice, but you can imagine a reversible process happens here because you take a hot reservoir and you put in a gas in a piston and you let it equilibrate. And as it equilibrates, what's going to happen is it's going to expand, if it's colder, until it gets to that temperature. And if it does it in a reversible way, as it expands, you're going to add, um, you're going to do work, and you draw heat in from the hot reservoir. It's just like the stro first stroke of the, of, the, of the steam engine. Then what you do is you take this out, you insulate it in the container, and you take it out of the container, and you put it in here. But it's hot, and the piston now is at a certain position, and it will continue to expand because it's hot. You bring it to the temperature, but it's like the second stroke, the adiabatic process, where it continues to expand and it cools. So you let it expand until it cools to the temperature Tc. And then when you put it into that uh, Tc, then what happens is that the thing will uh, be, um, it's like coupling it then to the cold reservoir again where the steam goes out. Then what happens is the piston is going to equilibrate the heat.